All right, David. Let's roll. Before David goes, Mike, yes. I, I have to get your opinion on something. We all know that you and Tom Izzo love social media. <laughs> well, yesterday, <laughs> a New York Giant took to social media. Okay. The way this game looks, we might be better than the 49ers with a bunch of laughing emojis. Oh, no. Who said this? Kayvon Thibodeau. Followed by Joe Staley. Uh, you're a flash player who gets bodied by average tackles. Don't let the New York media affect you too much. Good for Joe. And then Kayvon comes back. Who are you, bro? Oh, dear God. Okay. So what am I allowed to do? I know this isn't North Korea. I can't, like, throw no, Kayvon no. in jail. But, like, I mean, it's embarrassing. Because here's the thing. Joe has every right to make this statement because he's a borderline Hall of Fame tackle. Right. He's a fabulous football player. Now, if Kayvon wants to double down on being ignorant, because the Giants are nowhere near as good as the Niners, and go... Who? Who are you? Like Bobby Williams? Right. What See, do you want it, me to, Here's I, the thing. Here's the thing for me. Can I find him if I'm the Giants? <laughs> if you, it's, it's almost like Debo Samuels coming out talking about smack about the Eagles in the Super Bowl. If you got beat or if you're right. not there. Right, shut up. Be quiet and enjoy the game. And by the way, the Giants got rolled by the team that just rolled the Niners. Right. 38-7 was a week ago, fellas. Right, like you. You know, you had your starting quarterback. They had circumstances. Here would be the advice. Get off the social media. So, yeah. Just one. I, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm embarrassed. you didn't see that one. Uh, no, because that, that upsets me. That's stupid stuff. Save that one just for this. Go ahead, yeah, David. I save this one just for Kenny since we're you just going to clean house real quick. Oh, yeah. This is a battle royal. Oh, yeah. This is the Royal Rumble. <laughs> we're all hitting each other with chairs today. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Stetson Bennett is there oh, knocking geez. and banging on doors late in the morning Sunday in Dallas. <laughs> I am a- good enough to be in the NFL. <laughs> they cops found him walking inside a gated area. And he was intoxicated. He was arrested and then later released. Uh, undrafted now, huh? No. No, he can be a backup somewhere. He's not going to be a great NFL quarterback. But, yeah, it's a tough look for the kid. Here's the tougher look, too. <laughs> it's look to call him a kid when he's, like, 30 and a right. father of two. Right. Like, Stetson Bennett is not exactly, right. hey, he's 19. He had a rough night. Right. A little overserved. He's 26. All I got to say is uh, he's going to have to run a faster 40 at the combine. I'll just leave it at that because the cops kind of caught him really quickly. (laughs) Listen, (laughs) he wasn't of right mind. He had a few things coursing through his veins. The the TCUD coordinator was like, and sign those guys up. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus. Let's get into it's some Nick actual. Saban on the line. Am I am I am I wrong though? It, it's hard to call him a kid at twenty five, no, right? You're right. No, you, no, he knows that's... exactly what he's doing. The only guy giving him a run for his money will probably be Hunter Dickinson, who might still be in school at thirty two. Well, you know, mistakes were made. <laughs> Let's get into some actual NFL football news. Kellen Moore out as OC in Dallas, and officially today he will be named the new OC in Los Angeles for the Chargers. Ugh. Thoughts on both sides, because for Dallas now, Mike McCarthy will call play. Right, Mike McCarthy will take the offense a step backwards because he's not a good play caller, and the game has left him behind. He's basically pro version of Jimbo Fisher. I was about to say, so it, was it, you're saying it was Rodgers and not him? Uh, you think? Okay. And the other, the other point is we're in scapegoat season. Okay, so Kellen Moore gets fired. He goes now to go to San Diego, and Staley could be a one-and-done. Los Angeles. Whatever. Who cares, honestly? It's ridiculous that Sean Payton's not the Chargers coach. Well, I wonder if San Diego... Well, Ah. L.A. I wonder if L.A. may have a coach in waiting if this goes south. It should be Sean Payton. That we have Kellen... Because Kellen, remember, he was a hot name for years. So was Leftwich. He's unemployed. Which is why I'm still he has left. Why the whole Ben Johnson thing is like, you know, they they love you today. Tomorrow, not so much. You know, speaking of Aaron Rodgers here, let's just hey get to it next. Let's go yep. around the room right here. Reports all weekend that the Green Bay Packers have a strong preference to move on from Rodgers. 
And one report suggested financial woes being a driving force, which I don't believe for a second. Here's my point. Is my proclamation of Rodgers to the Jets becoming more legitimate by the day? Rodgers to another team. I think the Jets may be the favorite. Also, I could see the Raiders. Oh, that's where, Isn't that where Brady's going? Come on. I think it's the worst kept secret. He's going to the Jets. They got his old OC. He's gone to the Jets. Yeah, but we always look like we start connecting dots, and then they don't. Yeah. I know, but let's dream in this world so the Lions no, can he, win the you North. You know what? This is the one that will send me over the edge, and maybe I'll come running for the Lions. He's going to go back home, Brady. He's going back to the Bay Area. Why don't you trade for him? Oh, wait. You already gave away all your picks for a running back. David? Hey. Slash quarterback. Okay. Mistakes right. were made. David, go yeah, ahead. Mistakes were made. Let's get to your team for a second yesterday. There were a lot of mistakes. Hey, let's made, talk about the Steelers. And I some Wait, questions. There's nothing to talk about. Go ahead. <laughs> the first thing is why wouldn't you just play Christian McCaffrey over Brock returning? And then the second issue is why not throw the red flag after the Devontae Smith non catch? I'll talk about that because that's actually a real topic. The other one was just mean and hurtful. Um, that was a huge mistake. When Devontae Smith is waving everybody into the crowd, I didn't catch this pass. Let's hurry up. You got the old lineman hustling down the field. Just throw the flag on the 50-50 chance he didn't catch it. Okay, you don't have a challenge for the yeah, – but that's fine. It was a fourth down play. The entire game could have flip-flopped on that play because they scored – uh, as far as what was the first question to her for? Oh, McCaffrey. Why not just play McCaffrey? Because the second you put McCaffrey back there, a- at least with Purdy, you knew that possibly he could throw the ball he until you re- throw no, it past five you realize yards. He couldn't. When you put McCaffrey back there, they ran every trick play that they had, and then saw it was five minutes left in the third quarter, and we're out of plays. The Eagles are like, guys, how about this? We won't hurt you, but. Yeah, just, you know we're going to win this game. Yeah, we know. We, Somebody ought to give Trent Williams the memo. Yeah, hey, what you know was that what? about? That was basically, he just said, enough's enough. I'm, a, I'm not, that's going to be me around 4.30. Enough slander. I've had it. How much money would it take for you to allow Trent Williams to throw you to the ground with that type of force? Right, well, they, it's, to, but to, this is why I don't like what the referees are doing. You're blowing the whistle. They're not listening to you. Get in there and separate them. Well, they're bigger than us. Not my fault. And then Trent was like, you know, hey, guys, he the whistle's been blown. You will not hear attack my player. If I'm the general manager, he's not paying that fine. There had to be an imprint in the ground with how hard he threw that guy. Down. It was. That was he, unbelievable. He, he would not pay a fine. If I'm Lynch, he's not paying that fine. The Niners will pay because you stood up for your team and your teammates. Uh, David, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, Patrick Mahomes' father had a little issue after the game. He could not light his cigar. There's a video going around everywhere. But then he was asked about it after the game or asked about his son winning the game. For some reason, my stuff is out of the system. But he basically said that uh, he was happy. He was happy that his son won the game. And so no kid number four? No kid number four. <laughs> Here's exactly what he said. Smoking on a Joe oh, Burrow. God. I, here, here's all I'll tell you. Look, I get it. Nah. Have a great time. That, that whole group, whether it's him, Mahomes' wife, Mahomes' brother. I, how about a little class, people? I, you, you, did you see the video? Yeah. Every article's got it in there. I mean, she's screaming and, and, in this guy's and the face. And the beauty of it, they had disappeared this year. Right. Just I please. Thought, it, it, I thought that they were retired with Kelly Stafford. Oh, and then they, God. you know what? This may be good, though, Mike, because here's what has happened. Like it or not, we have an NFL rivalry. Kansas City and Cincinnati and the hate. Because the Bengals got taught a lesson. They did. All of that talk. But you know what? This was the first time that he lost. I like it because it's what the NFC East used to be. But I don't think I don't think that the hatred is there anymore. And we'll we'll have to do this later today in part two of football today. But at some point, it's okay to criticize Joe Burrow. Okay, no. you scored twenty points. You threw two picks. 
You had two possessions in the fourth quarter that were a punt and a turnover. You failed. You yep. know what? You failed, dude. The mistakes were made, and, you know, he was feeling charitable. Sun got in his eyes. I quit. That is football today. <laughs>